What is up y'all, is Nakota Matthew, your favorite sustainable designer and just fashion inspo guy, just making his way into the industry. And we are growing fast guys. YouTube is up to over a thousand subscribers. So make sure if you're not subscribed already, you are. So you see all the upcoming content and cool stuff that is planned for the future. But today's video, kind of an impulsive decision. Um, it's just a rainy day and I decided I would like to go thrifting, get some product to work with and show you guys my new machine. I guess got a industrial machine about a week ago and it's a little intimidating and I think you guys should see it. And I'm actually gonna try something new for the first time with it. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So let's get right into it and make our way to the old thrift store. All right guys, the fit check for thrifting. Boom, I found these old pants. These were prototypes I made from sheets. Got big old pockets. I was like a genius. I don't even know what I was thinking at the time. This look at this. There's so many pockets. Waistband is not great, but it's a pretty chill thrift fit for the day. Kind of street, oversized and comfy. That's what we like. So let's make some moves. I don't know if you can see, but I'm hoping since it's raining that less people wanted to leave the house and there'll be, you know, better pickings for me. The one that is willing to go out and sacrifice. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can find. We're back. Um, got a lot of stuff, actually. A good day of shopping. Got some compliments on the pants. You know, networking, free billboard. So great day so far. It is still raining. Um, I found some cool Eagle stuff, as always. I got some Under Armour, which I plan to do a little mini drop. Got some glasses. Love a good beer mug. What else did I get? Life hack, actually, men. Check out the women's plus size section for like sweatshirts and um, jackets and stuff like that. No one's ever gonna know. No one's ever gonna know. But um, yeah, got a few things and let's head back and show you guys the machine. So we are back in the studio and you know what I figured why not turn today into a vlog So we're just gonna go with the whole day. It's still noon. It's early So I'm gonna hit the gym first before Diving into the little sewing activity. So to get a quick little workout in All right, so I might as well show you the gym fit which is you know, this is a stained sweatshirt I'm going to Planet Fitness to work out and get sweaty doesn't matter. I got the little shorts on some trainers, and we're mostly doing cardio. So that's it, this is it. All right, I'm at the tripod in the car. I assume you guys can see me. We're gonna head down to the gym and see if this thing holds up. Because I don't know, I just have a story to tell you guys. If you aren't following on Instagram, which you should be, 
um, Nakota underscore Matthew. But I didn't know that the vintage community, um, you know, could be a little bit um, aggressive with, I guess, people cutting up their stuff. So, short story, I had a, I don't really do custom orders, you guys know that, don't do custom orders, but I did have a friend of a friend reach out, and it was a very sentimental piece that they were going to have made, it was from their two grandparents that passed away, and I openly did the order, I have no problem, if someone asked me to cut up their, their stuff, it's not even like they bought vintage stuff, it's like their family Family heirloom, which I don't know what else you would do with it. Doesn't fit them, had holes, stains. They didn't, they wanted to be able to wear it. So, I took it upon myself to help out. I made the sweatshirt. She loved it. Made a little reel about it. And, um, God, this tripod sucks. And the, got a lot of bad, like, mean comments from the vintage community. And even, like, personally to the girl I made it for. So, long story short, yada, 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 it actually kind of helped me out. In the long run, I had so much support behind it in the videos telling me I did the right thing, and it's a good thing, and I'm very happy for that. And now it's kind of pushing the Instagram and website in the right direction. So, I think I have some high hopes for designs to start taking off again. I'm trying this new thing on Instagram where I'm not using any hashtags. I think organic is the right thing to do. I was having a feeling that my content was getting pushed to, you know, everyone but my followers. So I'm doing, this is a social experiment to see how that works. And so far, so good for anyone who already has a lot of followers, um, having problems keeping people involved or like, everything's changing on you, which started to happen to me, but I don't know, it's not for everyone. So, yeah, we're going to experiment with that. And, yeah, Instagram's doing well. Um, sales, a little slow, but also limited with output. So, um, yeah, I really like having the support of you guys. So, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I really see this, like, going places. And I really like how the response is coming. And I think as I travel and do some pop-ups and really make things more personal. I think, I don't know, I just have high hopes and I get really excited talking about it every now and then. So just sorry for my excitement, but we're basically almost at the gym now. So I'm gonna go in, do a little bit of cardio. I am recovering from a torn ACL for people that didn't know that. Um, I tried to play a men's league and second game old man syndrome, I guess, kicked in, and I just completely blew out my entire ACL, had surgery last year, and it's kind of when I got back into making clothing again, which is kind of a cool, you know, full circle thing, and I'm really happy, <laughs> not happy that it happened, but um, I'm happy I pivoted and did a healthy recovery, and now I just try and make sure that one day I can play lacrosse again if I really want to, and I don't have any restrictions in life. So, here's a little story for you guys, and sorry for taking up so much time, but it is the vlog. So, let's get in with the rest of the day. Right, guys we are back and we are browning up some venison stopped at the grocery store got some ingredients to make chili and got some breaded pan breaded chicken tendies in the oven for lunch and then I also put in a load of laundry because I'm just living an everyday life and I gotta do what I gotta do even though it cuts into my business time but it is what it is I get very distracted from work some days because I kind of still have to 
like working in my apartment, it's like I can't fully lock in to work mode because I always have stuff to do and I don't know if I have ADHD and just get caught up doing random tasks like dishes and other shit and you know, whatever. But I'm going to finish eating lunch and then show you guys my cool new industrial machine. All right, guys, so we're back in the studio. Sorry for boring you with my daily, you know, normal life. But, you know, this is the behind the scenes. So let me show you guys what I'm working with. My friend asked for a little favor. Um, now that I have the new machine and I'm hoping I can help out. All right, let's take, there's three in here. I'm trying to only get one. happening here oh my gosh all right we'll be fine all right so what we have here was supposed to be a banner he said but as you can see um Wow, this is bigger than I thought, dude. He's gonna see this video, be mad I put him on blast, but this was supposed to be a banner this way, and none of this white was supposed to be there. So, um, I told him I'm gonna try to fix it. So I'm gonna cut off some and fold it down, and I don't know if my table is gonna be big enough for this. So, um, wish me luck. All right, so I'm not gonna overthink anything. Um, the plan, we do have three. So I'm gonna try with this one. Um, just gonna cut, leave two inches and then fold an inch down. And instead of pins, I'm gonna use the clips and then just single stitch straight down. Um, cut on both sides and I think that'll work. So let's see. All right guys, so this is what we're looking. Of course, got a shout out. Movement wins, the boys doing their thing, specifically training college athletes, especially ones that have recovered from injury or looking to get back after injury, and anyone really trying to get back at a competitive level. But besides that, we got the top clipped. I don't have enough to do both, so I'm gonna do one at a time. And let me show you guys this beast of a machine I got. All right, guys, this is my new and improved. Well, it's actually, it's not new. It is a old school Japanese made Juki. It is built into this table, which has its motor in the back. And this thing actually holds oil. And this helps you to raise the presser foot. So when you're sewing, you just tap your knee over and brings that up. We got a built in light, nice and fancy measurements on the table. But yeah, apparently this thing supposedly can sew through just about anything up to like five or six layers of denim. And that is why I got it. I'm trying to really step up my designs and take them a little bit more seriously, which means no more plastic machine. Look at this thing. Look at this. This thing is plastic. I can throw this. This is, this is what I've been using for the past like five, five years. You've seen this in my last video. And I mean, we had, to, we had to truck this thing in. We literally had to go with a pickup truck to pick up the whole desk all as one and deliver it here back to my apartment. It's on wheels. So just for anyone thinking about getting into the industry, um, you don't need one right away. At least I haven't even barely used this thing so far. It's been about a week, but I'm going to try it on this thing. So let's see how that goes. So, all right. Um, here goes nothing. We're gonna, we're just gonna hope for the best. So this does the back stitch. So I'm gonna do a little forward. It goes really fast. It's really hard to control. A little back. And then. It's working. I just don't wanna rip anything. So one. So far, so good.
This is just the only thing is it's just inconveniently large and hard to hold and work with. Oh, this is, just, this is so difficult. Uh, all right. I did not think about this. We're gonna check back in when we're done. All right, sorry, I'm a little frustrated. There's just so much clutter and stuff and just this thing was not ideal to work with. As you can see, it did not quite turn out as planned. It's looking just crinkly. And if you can tell from the like sound of this material um i don't know what it is and it's not cooperating very well but i did get to show you guys the machine so that was the main reason uh, i did the project but other than that what else do we have going on today ah i got a package in order and go drop it off so let's do that All right, guys, it is about four o'clock in the afternoon, which means it is a perfect time to run to the post office because right in between me and the post office is the only brewery in town. Just so happens. And it just happens to be happy hour from four to six o'clock. So I always strategically plan when I have orders so I can walk them up to the post office and sort of treat myself for a beer or two on the way back. It's affordable. It's networking. I got to stay in New York City for free because of one of the amazing bartenders out there and knew someone that worked in the hotel there, comped us the room. So it is important to kind of go with the flow, enjoy life. It's not going to set you back. I know it's not the most healthy habit, but I am stuck in my apartment all day. I work by myself. I have no team. I have nobody. So it is good for me to like kind of get out and socialize. And just because that's at a bar, you know, so be it. But we got fit number three for the day. Rain stopped-ish. But we got the boots, Plato's closet, classic blue jeans, a little stretchy. And then the famous still stained sweatshirt, which you guys love to point out. Um, yeah, just a little fun little project. Eagles hat to my friend who sent me that. And yeah, now we're going to walk this up to the post office. We'll check back in when we get back. Turns out it's still raining, but you know, we're gonna do it anyway because it's exercise and it's good for the environment. <laughs> guys we are back in the studio and we are kind of just at home and we're comfy and now we are good to just chill out the rest of the night i'm gonna have my dinner i'm gonna take everything i filmed today upload it onto my computer start editing get a little head start on that but i wanted to thank you guys for tuning in to the channel again for this little day vlog i know it wasn't anything exciting but i think it is cool for you guys to see the real behind the scenes um before I gotta say, before anything really takes off, like I get excited over a thousand subscribers and I do have a lot of followers on Instagram, but I will tell you firsthand, firsthand, followers do not equal success. There's a lot of people on Instagram verified, a lot of followers living normal everyday life, just like every one of us, we're all doing the same thing. But just a reminder, wanted to put that out there because it's very important to realize that anything is possible for all of us. This is new to me. This is one year into like taking this seriously. So the fashion industry is very welcoming. It's very cool. I love it. The upcycling community is great. And if you guys please subscribe and share this with people, I think, I think there's a lot going. And I think there's a 
real potential to build a good community here. So that is all I have for today, really. I had a great time showing you guys a little behind the scenes as usual. So take care and we'll see you guys next time.